I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? Do you think he has Char? Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. I've completed my investigation into the missing recon team. Paladin Brandis was the only survivor. Everything feels... different. Everything feels... clearer. Colors. Sounds. Smells. Nothing is like I remember. I... I can't believe it worked. The cravings. The pain. Hell. Even the rush. They've disappeared. Was I really that... I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. I want to stage fight here in Dugga. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? How would something like that even work? It makes sense, I promise. I have contacts, people I can count on. Real tough looking, but they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at Dugga. You step in and give him who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? Why involve me in this? You have seen Travis, yes? <laughs> he cannot fight alone. Not even fake one. He needs help. You can help him. I have everything ready by 6 o'clock. Travis should be here by then, you show up, and it will go well. Promise. Oh, what's wrong? Not so tough once you're not on the air. <laughs> hey there, pal. Oh, what's oh, wrong? It's you. Not so tough once you're not on the air. Everything okay here? Does it look okay? Because... No. It is not. I don't... I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. You could resolve this if you try. Ah, uh, that, uh, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't seem like a, a good idea. With these men, it could, well, it, it, it could turn violent. Don't you want this to stop? Yes, but... Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work... Just shut up and go along with the plan. Okay, that's... well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said... I said that's enough. Leave me alone. I always have time to listen to you, Kate. Good. Because this isn't easy for me to say, and I want to get it right. Where do I begin? Did you know I spent three years fighting at the combat zone? Three years of getting beaten to hell by a bunch of losers and lunatics. After the matches were over, I'd spit out the blood, stitch me wounds, and do a couple of shots of Psycho to keep me going. I fucking hated it. I hated the crowds, I hated the other fighters, and I hated myself. I never understood why I put myself through all that. Until now. It was because I was alone. And I think deep down, I wanted to die. I wanted one of my opponents to crush the life out of me. The easy way out. Well, that's the past. You're not alone anymore. Then maybe you know what I'm trying to say to you. My life's been nothing but one huge failure after another. You've heard all my stories, and you know the prices I've paid. There were a few times when things got really bad, but I... I found myself staring down the barrel of my own shotgun. I don't know why I didn't pull the trigger. I guess I was praying that I could find a single decent scrap of humanity in this fucked up world. And then, what you did for me back there at Fog 95, it was like the answer to those prayers. That's the first time in me life I fully depended on someone else, and they didn't let me down. God damn it, I'm making a mess of this. It's all right, Kate. Let it all out. I'll be fine. I just need to be getting to the point. The longer we've been spending time together, the more I'm beginning to realize what you mean to me. And I'm not just talking about you watching me back or sharing a drink together. I mean more than that. Before we met, I'd never let me guard down around anyone. I didn't dare. But with you, I feel like I can let you in and see me for everything that I am. 
for better or for worse. And that I am, for better or for worse. Look, I can't go back to the way things were before we met. I won't. But what I need you to do is look me in the eyes and tell me you feel something too. Of course I do. I'm in love with you, Kate. You... you're what? You said... you're in love with me. I can't... I can't do that right now. I'm just not ready. I'm sorry. And now, uh, a word for several from our sponsors. Oh, uh, um, this broadcast has been brought hi. to you by the there. Mega Surgery Center. Travis. Whoa. I can't believe it. We did it! Why settle for less than perfection? I knew you had it in you. I can't... I can't believe it! You were right! Oh! I've... I've got things to do now. Listen, really, I, I can't thank you enough. <laughs> I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for the next part of foolproof plan? Depends on what it is. It's nice and simple. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. I could have a chat with her. <laughs> yes, I know. This is why I'm telling you. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? If you don't live here, you ain't nobody. Got it? Uh, Henry won't let me in the tap house anymore. So, here I am. Scarlet. I'm on a break right now. Can I ask you something personal? It's about Travis. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Yeah, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. Would you like it if he had mentioned you? Well, yeah. I guess I would. I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him. And I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. up to no good and look what's happened now you've got to help i can't do it you've got to help me take it easy it'll be all right just tell me what happened they took him they took vadim Th those men Th the ones that messed with travis they came back said vadim owed the money that they had a deal he, he wouldn't pay and then they grabbed them and said that they would make him pay and then they just dragged him out you have to do something Please tell me you can do something. 
Do you know where they took him? No, I don't know. He's the one that uh, has always dealt with them. I've tried to avoid them. Travis might know. You should ask him, please. I, I don't want anything to happen to Vadim. Need new clothes? Should stop by Fallon's basement. Open during the day. Miss? Ever been up in the stands? Let's just say they can afford a lot of clothes. Have you seen Vadim? He was grabbed at the dugout, and Yefim thought you might know where Bull took him. What? That's... that's not a funny joke. Like, at all. I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? Oh. Oh, man. Wow. Is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... it's my fault. No, Travis, this is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Oh, come on. They would have walked all over your sorry arse forever. Look, I don't, I don't really... I mean... I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever, then I'm gonna help get him back. You really think you're capable of doing what needs to be done? You're talking about... about killing people, aren't you? If... if that's what it takes. I've heard enough to know they're probably holed up at the old Beantown Brewery. We gotta go in there, show them we mean business, and... and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll... I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. I'm on a break right now. What? more often let me know if you find some spare ammo
my face. being messed with like this. Treachery. Let me know if you want help with that lock. Got it. Thank God, you're here. So this is it. Odds are, if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're... We're gonna be okay, right? You know anything else about this brewery? Not really. I mean, I think it's... It's where their little gang hides out. There shouldn't be too many of them. Any, uh... Any last-minute advice? I've never done anything like this. Just stay calm. Don't go crazy in there. Right, calm. I can do calm. Calm, 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 calm. Okay, can we just get in there before I totally lose my nerve?
There's a smell I'm never gonna forget. here. to be something of value on him. I call this a brewery. I call it a church. <coughs> Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. You are a true friend. Are there more of them? Are they gonna come after you again? No, no. This was best they could do. You got them. <laughs> <laughs> These idiots had caps and cams just lying around. <laughs> they, they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. I promise I am surprised to see you here. <laughs> hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I, I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. <laughs> you are... Full of surprises, my friend. Sweet.
What a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. What are you gonna do now? Well... That's what I've been thinking about. After all this... I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems... Silly, you know? Like... Was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you. If anyone came through here recently, they haven't left a trace in all this dust. This is the only vault I know that people still call home. Kind of weird that they still want to stay out here all by themselves. Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where. 
where you got your hands on a working pit boy but you better start talking vault 81 you're still up and running yeah pretty good observation there genius now about that pit boy I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? I'm just a traveler. I thought I'd take a look around. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. Depends. I need more details. Fair enough. Fusion cores. Three, to be exact. You get the fusion cores, we grant the access. 